okay guys uh, today we will see the problems on fourier transform in the previous class we have seen the fourier transform that is f of t is equal to what f of omega is equal to what you can see here here f of t is equal to 1 by 2 pi minus infinity to plus infinity f of omega e raised to plus i omega n into t into d omega if and f of omega is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity f of t e raised to minus i omega n into t dt okay uh, here now you can see the question is find fourier transform of the decaying exponential function x is equal to e raised to minus a into t where t is greater than or equal to 0 now we need to find fourier transform that means if if, if f of t is given we need to find f of omega if f of uh, f of omega is given we need to find f of t now you can see here the given function is time domain function that is uh, uh, time domain is given that is uh, f of t is given you can see here the given function is x equal to e raised to minus a into t where t is greater than or equal to 0 that means the uh, given equation is in time domain that means we need to find frequency domain okay so the given equation is in time domain so to find the Fourier transform so we need to find Fourier transform if t means Fourier transform so we need to find Fourier transform of time domain means we need to find frequency domain we need to find frequency domain that means we need to find f of omega we need to find f of omega so we know the equation f of, f of omega is equal to what f of omega is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity integration from minus infinity to plus infinity f of t e raised to minus i omega n into t dt so we need to find this so i will write f of omega is equal to the equation is minus infinity to plus infinity f of t e raised to minus i omega n into t dt okay f of omega is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity f of t e raised to minus i omega n into t dt now here you can see in, in place of f x is given so just will rewrite the equation x of omega is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity f of t means you know x is given so x of t e raised to minus i omega n into t dt x of omega is equal to now we can see here we need to find the Fourier transform that is x equal to e raised to minus a t where t is greater than or equal to 0 that means that the now the limits becomes now t is greater than 0 that means 0 to infinity okay so we need this is 0 this is minus infinity this is 0 this is plus infinity but the time is uh, the time period is given between greater than or equal to 0 that means only we need to consider 0 to infinity so the equation becomes integration from 0 to infinity x of t is equal to what x of t is equal to e raised to minus a t so e raised to minus a into t okay e raised to minus i omega n into t dt so x of omega is equal to now integration from 0 to infinity okay so e raised to will take minus sign outside this becomes a plus i into omega n one second a plus i into omega n that into t i have taken minus and minus t outside so in the in, in the bracket a plus i into omega n that into dt so integration from e raised to minus i plus i omega n into t dt Okay, so x of omega is equal to x of omega is equal to integration from 0 to plus infinity e raised to minus a plus i into omega n that into t dt. So we know that integration of e raised to i theta, right? Or you can say e raised to n theta. So this is an integration we need to divide by the coefficient so coefficient of t is what a plus i omega n a plus i into omega n minus n is there so minus 1 by a plus i omega n so this is as it is that is e raised to minus a plus i omega n that into t now we need to apply the limits from 0 to infinity so this is 1 minus 1 by a plus i omega n i will keep it as it is okay now first in the place of t we need to first infinity then 0 okay so e raised to infinity is what e raised to infinity is this is and minus e raised to 0 minus e raised to 0 so this is minus 1 by a plus i into omega n 
e raised to infinity is 0 minus e raised to 0 is 1 so the equation becomes minus 2 minus is plus plus 1 by a plus i into omega and this is your x of omega so Fourier transform of the given function x of t is equal to e raised to minus a t that becomes x of omega is equal to 1 by a plus i omega n. that is converting the time domain function into frequency domain function is nothing but your Fourier transform Okay, so we we'll start with the second problem. Uh, the question is find the coefficient of odd function in Fourier series. Okay, so this is a given function. So what do you mean by odd function? So if you remember f of minus theta is equal to minus f of theta, then that is odd function. If f of minus theta is equal to plus f of theta, then that is even function. So if uh, from basic trigonometry we know that sine of minus theta is equal to minus sine theta and cos of minus theta is equal to plus cos theta. So you can see that you can see that it is odd function and that is even function. Okay, now we need to find what is the question here? Find coefficient of odd function. Find coefficient of odd function in Fourier series. Okay. Now, if you remember, so this is our Fourier series. Okay. F of t is equal to a naught by two plus n is equal to one to infinity a n cos omega n t plus b n sin omega n t, where a naught, a n, and b n are given by like this. So, what is the question now? The question is find coefficient of odd function. So, what is the odd function here? Sin is odd function. So we need to find this is sin this is cos so coefficient of sin is what bn coefficient of our function is bn we need to find bn so bn is given by 2 by t minus t by 2 to plus t by 2 f of t sin omega n into t dt okay so now we we'll write here bn is equal to 2 divided by t minus t by 2 to plus t by 2 okay f of t or you can say x of t okay that into sin omega n into t dt sin omega n into t dt now you can see in the question what is the question here so find coefficient of odd function in four year series okay we have we have written down the coefficient of odd function that is bn is equal to now 2 by t minus t by 2 to plus t by 2 so you can see in the question this is time period this is x Okay, now time period, this is time period, this is x. Now what is the time period? You can see here, minus, minus 3 to minus 1, that is, you can from here to here, 2 seconds, minus 1 to plus 1, again 2 seconds, 1, 2, 3, again 2 seconds. So time period t is equal to 2 seconds. From figure, from the figure, we can write time period t is equal to 2 seconds. Okay, so now, we know that omega is equal to what? Omega is equal to 2 pi divided by t right so it is 2 pi t is what 2 so this is equal to pi omega is equal to pi now this is for only one function if there are n function that is omega n you can see this if there are n functions then it is n pi okay omega for n function will be n pi okay so now bn is equal to 2 by t okay 2 by 2 because time period is 2 seconds so 2 by 2 is 1 and it here 2 by 2 so minus t by 2 plus t by 2 minus 2 by 2 is minus 1 plus 2 by 2 is again t is 2 so 2 by 2 is 1 x of t so in the figure you can see here x of t is equal to what x of t is equal to t so that t into sine omega n for n functions omega is equal to what omega is equal to pi for n function it is n pi so n pi into t that into dt that into dt so we need to find we need to integrate this so again bn is equal to 2 by 2 is 1 okay so now how to integrate this first it is a polynomial term it is a trigonometric term so first function into integration of second minus integration of derivative of first into integration of second so first function t is the first function so first function into integration of second integration of this is second function okay so integration of sin n pi into t is what minus cos n pi t so as a integration we need to divide by coefficient so n pi divided by n pi so integration from minus 1 to plus 1 first function into integration of second minus integration of derivative of first derivative of t with respect to t is what 1 into integration of second again integration of sin n pi is minus cos n pi into t by n pi okay so now from this from here i will take 
1 by n pi common or you can say minus 1 by n pi common the, this is t into cos n pi t minus 1 to plus 1 minus again 1 into this is only this so minus 2 minus becomes plus again integration of cos is what sine so that is plus sine plus sine n pi into t by again divided by n pi so n pi into n pi becomes n square pi square so minus 1 to plus 1 okay minus 1 to plus 1 so if you remember okay what we can say from basic trigonometry from basic trigonometry sin n pi is equal to what cos n pi is equal to what in basic what we will write sin n pi okay sin 0 sin 90 okay sorry sin 0 if you if you put n is equal to 1 sin pi that is 180 sin again 360 and so on so this will be 0 and if what about cos cos 0 if you put n is equal to 0 this becomes 0 that is equal to 1 again if you put 1 cos pi cos pi is what minus 1 right and similarly so it is minus 1 raised to n it is in general sin n pi is equal to 0 cos n pi is uh, cos, uh, cos n pi is minus 1 raised to n okay so now if you put like this here minus 1 divided by n pi now in place of t we will put 1 and then minus 1 okay this is 1 1 into cos n pi into again plus 1 okay minus again put minus 1 minus 1 okay t is minus 1 now cos n pi into minus 1 so this is n pi sin n pi is what sin n pi is 0 so this part becomes 0 so this is minus 1 by n pi cos n pi is what cos n pi is minus 1 raised to n minus 2 minus is plus again so cos of minus theta is what cos of minus theta is plus cos theta only so again minus 1 raised to n minus 1 raised to n minus 1 raised to n so this is minus 2 into minus 1 raised to n divided by n pi divided by n pi this is the coefficient of odd function that is bn so bn is equal to minus 2 minus 1 raised to n by n pi Okay guys, we will see the next problem. The question is find Fourier transform. Ft means Fourier transform. Okay, find Fourier transform for given function. F of t is equal to what? F of t is given as 0, 0, and f naught. Okay, the time period is given here. So you can see here 0 for t less than or equal to minus t and f naught for minus t and bit and t and 0 again t greater than t that means from the question we can say that the function only exists between minus t and plus t otherwise it is 0 ok the function only exists between minus t and plus t ok so now uh, find Fourier transform ok that means if time domain is given we need to find frequency domain if frequency domain is given we need to find time domain that is if, if f of t is given we need to find f of omega if f of omega is given we need to find f of t so f of t is given that means we need to find f of omega so f of omega is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity f of t e raised to minus i omega n into t dt okay so now f of omega is equal to now function exists between what only minus t and plus t so this is a time period so minus t and plus t f of t is what f naught now f naught e raised to minus i omega n into t dt so f of omega is equal to f naught is a constant we'll take it outside f naught so integration of e raised to minus i omega n into t is what minus 1 by i into omega n okay e raised to minus i omega n into t from minus t to plus t so this is f naught minus i into omega n okay so this is in place of t we'll put capital t e raised to minus i omega n into capital t minus e raised to minus i omega n into minus t so this you can see right here minus f naught by i into omega n e raised to minus i omega n into t minus minus to minus is plus again so e is to plus i omega n into t okay so this is equal to minus f naught by i into omega n you can, you can see here e is to minus i theta minus e is to plus i theta okay so 
we can write here we know that e raised to i theta is what or you can say e raised to minus i theta is cos theta minus i sin theta so cos theta theta is e raised to i omega n into t okay so e raised to this is e raised to i theta this is e raised to minus i theta so e raised to, e raised to i theta and e raised to minus i theta so cos theta minus i sin theta cos theta okay minus i sin theta i into sin omega n into t this is for this one okay minus minus e raised to plus i theta so this is cos theta this is cos theta plus i sin theta i sin omega n into t okay so you can see here minus into plus is minus so cos this is plus this is minus so cos and cos cancels so this is minus f not by i into omega n okay minus i sin omega n to t minus into plus is again minus so minus i sin omega n to t minus 2i sin omega n into t so i and i cancels here minus to minus is plus 2f not divided by omega n sin omega n into t this is your f of omega this is your f of omega